Hello there and welcome back to my computer, it's Christian and this is Fusion 360 and I have like a heart shaped cookie cutter I want to call this and this is just a small demonstration of what you can do with Scaly or specifically use a scale on a sketch uh, this is just a small thing I tried out so I hope it can be useful for some of you we're going to inspect first of all, uh, so this dimension is around 192 millimeters and the interesting thing is that this bar is now six meter wide and it's a five millimeter extrusion but i can rescale this i have a scale factor here so i'll go in here and make it uh, 0 0.5 half size and boom we have it half size from here to here it's now 96 millimeter but the good thing is this support here is still six millimeter wide and it's five millimeters high so how did i accomplish this Let's go back. Let's go back in time also. We move back a timeline. Our first sketch, or my first sketch, was the spline of the uh, heart. And this is the problem. Splines can be harder to scale up and down. And I want to keep it simple. So I did this little sketch of a heart here. And then the next command I use is scale. And the important thing when I do scale, entities. Then when I select entity, I need to select the sketch in the browser here up on the left. Uh, I don't do a change point or uniform and I keep it on one when I start so I know what I'm doing hit OK and then I created an uh, offset plane and created a sketch on that one so this is uh, the top of a cookie cutter and the important thing I did a projection I projected up let's edit the sketch and turn off our first sketch as you can see very purple line here that's the projection of a heart and everything is then working from that line there's an offset outwards to get to outside there are some lines here there are some dimensions here if i can move a dimension out so we can see them come on it's dimension there you are uh, and there's also an offset dimension here to support everything uh, finish sketch and the shape is basically just three lofts a loft outside inside and top and stitch it all together but then i extruded my supports and by doing that I have its shape so this means that the scale only, only affects the first sketch and as it's linked to the next one the outward di out dimension everything will change but everything else I have done after that will stay the same so I can scale it up or down I can also make it twice as big I hope it works too yeah I can make it twice as big and the supports are still six millimeters wide and five millimeters extrusion because I have not changed any of that so this can be useful if you want to use a spline as a base for something put it in the first sketch do a scale in the next one on that sketch you can also do it afterwards put a sketch in that if you have, have only done that in the first sketch and then you can do the rest of your design and you can now scale it up and down and play around with it without breaking it if you don't really do really some, some really bad stuff I hope this can be useful to you so take care and see you around bye